Hey, it's Lindsay, and welcome to a special edition of our Home of the Week series. Breaking Bad fans are in for a treat because Colville Banker has listed none other than the infamous Jesse Pinkman's house as seen in Breaking Bad. This Albuquerque home is currently listed at $1.6 million. Wondering how the listing agents came up with this price? Simply put, science, yo. Take a look. Welcome to the infamous Breaking Bad house. I am Alicia File Peterson. And I am Susan File, and this lovely home is located in the Albuquerque Country Club Hewning Castle edition area of Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is, I think will probably look familiar to most of you, this is the door where Jesse says to his parents that he bought the place from his aunt, much to their dismay. So we'll go on inside and see a room also that I think will look familiar to all of you. As it's the main room where things in the home were actually shot for a long time, eventually what they did was create a set of this room so that they could work with bigger spaces and have more effective lighting for TV. In this room, you've actually got a great wood-burning fireplace, a ton of beautiful light, and what, as you'll find as we continue to go through the house, is so spectacular about it, is it's a home that really captures that old world style, yet has all the luxuries and conveniences of a newer home that luxury buyers typically want. So now we enter a room that was added on in 2010, but again, as the floors are seamless, so is the entire architecture of the room with the arched windows that were original and the ironwork in the chandelier. Of course, when the house would have been built in 1929, that would have had candles. Now, luckily, it's electrified. One of the things that I also love so much about homes in this neighborhood, as well as this one specifically, is it does such a great job of incorporating the outside inside so you can constantly get the benefits of the beautiful weather where we do have an Albuquerque. In this neighborhood specifically, is full of trees and very green. So you get that great natural light. You can enjoy all the portals around the house. So as we come up here, we actually come to a very well-known part of the house from the show. Are you ready? The basement. Da, da, da. And here we are in the new kitchen, but again, notice that the walls have still that old world feel of the original walls that were done in the other part of the house in 29. But as no one would want to really cook in a kitchen mm -hmm. from 1929, here we've got still the feeling of the cabinetry, very reminiscent of um, the architecture of that period, but with, thank goodness, modern appliances and a wine cooler. So I personally have such an affinity for beautiful doors, and so, again, that's what one of the things that is my favorite about this house, too, is all of the beautiful, thick wood doors throughout, and you get the beautiful ironwork from that era, too, but remarkably, in the new doors, they've cut them to match them perfectly, so you can't really tell which ones are original and which are updated. And so after you've cooked your dinner in this new kitchen, and serve it in this lovely, gracious dining room. This was a very large dining room for the period. People had staffs in those days. This is the staircase where Jesse did drag the body up. And it was wide enough for him to do that, and it's wide enough for everybody to walk upstairs and see the lovely bedrooms. Another part that I really love to point out in the detail of this home is these um, nichos, which are also lit from above, which are really unique to New Mexico, and they end up being great places to display art or pottery. I don't think anyone ever really got to the real master bedroom. Because it didn't exist. It didn't exist. So this was a complete add-on. Again, here I'll point out um, a new door versus the old ones. Again, with the traditional ironwork that matches perfectly with the um, original doors. And here's what everybody, what's the big question? Did they replace the bathtub? 
Well, this bathtub was never here. So this one does not qualify for the famous bathtub. But you'll see a jetted tub, steam shower, and that it's functional. <laughs> so there's not a big hole in the wall. And this is a new, you know, just another part where you get the charm and luxury of an older home, yet the beautiful conveniences of newness. I want to point out the volume, the high ceilings, again with the beams that you saw in the main room, replicated again up here to carry the architectural continuity throughout the house. And the details that this wood, you can see in the exposed trusses, is also, um, you know, the ones downstairs are a little weathered and so they replicated that um, upstairs as well. And I think the bedroom gives everybody a really great idea of the type of neighborhood this is. Again, you can see that it's very cozy and intimate and the trees are beautiful and it's so green and very different than I think what people expect from Albuquerque. We'll just go through um, the upstairs hallway, which has the um, additional three bedrooms and a bath. And these rooms are actually really large and spacious, again, which is a little bit unique for an older home. Then you have your last bedroom, again, which is spacious, great light, overlooks the neighborhood. And as you can see, a family lives here. So it's not a meth house. And um, there's some great memories being made here at ones that are not illegal. Um, and just good family fun reading Good books. family home in a good family neighborhood. All right, and now we're heading outside, which is a nice um, large backyard. You've got your beautiful flowers against here and the um, brick uh, pathway. And then this is a courtyard where you'd see them enter too through these um, great, beautiful iron gates. So again, thank you for joining us today. It's really fun to be able to share this uh, piece of history, but then also this luxury home that is in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and to be able to show the rest of the world um, what Albuquerque is like and just give you a little flavor of it. So uh, thanks again and signing off from the Raking Bad House. <laughs> According to Today.com, this is believed to be the first Breaking Bad major residential property to go on the market since the series wrapped in 2013. To see more of this unique property, visit bit.ly slash cbpinkmanhome. Thanks for watching and take care, y'all!